Okay guys, this is like my newest favorite um, app to help you lose weight into, it's like a food diary kind of thing. On here you can put in what you ate, let's see, there's my log today. So you can add meals, you can add exercises, and you can do daily weigh-ins, weekly weigh-ins, whichever you want. And according to your current weight and the weight you want to be at, it will tell you how many calories a day you can have. So for me, my daily calorie budget is 2214. That is my daily budget. So far I'm keeping to it. Just like tomorrow's dinner, I have to like figure out how many calories are in it. Oh boy, that's going to be no, difficult, but with this, you can actually type in, let's say we're doing a dinner, and let's say it's tomorrow's dinner, you just type in what, oh, you want to go to search, you want to go to search, and type it in, see it's chilly, with beans, with peppers, chili, you know. Um, what I might have to do is I might have to create my own because I'm not seeing one that, uh, I would do. So I'll probably have to add up all the calories myself and add it to here. But that's what you would do. Just go in here, you would search what you're eating. It would tell you how much everything is. Let's go to my vlog and I'll show you. So for my chicken nuggets, I split it in half. I had 20 pieces. My mom had 20 pieces. So you select how many pieces and it'll tell you how many calories you consumed by that. All of the soda, the, the life savers mints that I eat, I forgot, I get only four will cost me 60 calories, which is pretty darn good. And I did walk today, so that adds some calories to you, which is also cool. So, it tells you how many calories you are allowed to have, but once you put in your exercise, it gives you a little more calories to that. So, I think it said walking. So, I burned 149 calories just by doing that, and it gave me that. There, see exercise minus 149 right there, which is pretty good. So, right now, I'm pretty good. I have to go get some more soda in a minute. This one cost me 150 calories. I don't know what's going on with my TV, it's just gone crazy on me. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, I love this app. It is the let me find it. Try to find it, I can tell you guys what to look for. We'll go to my app store here, because I have it downloaded. And it's called Lose It Weight Loss Program and Calorie Counter. This is totally free. I know it's free for um, iOS. For Android users, I'm not so sure, but I would, it's something to check out, definitely. Because it is something that helps me so much right now. And what I'm also going to add is a BMI cal calculator. BMI. So, I have to look at both of these because I can't remember which one I liked. Uh, let's look at these that one. Um, so this looks like it's just like a calculator. So you can tell um, with your weight if you are overweight, average, or underweight. I, I'd rather be average or under. Thank you. So I'm going to choose this one. I like the look of it. So that's going to download. Oh, it's already downloaded. So this is going to be a little scary. 
um, to show you guys. So it wants your height. Oops. There we go. It wants your height. So I am five six, and my last weigh-in was two fifty. And I'm obese. Awesome. <laughs> but it's just something to do. This is something I'm gonna do every time I weigh in, which is might be a daily thing. So yeah, I'm gonna do that one too. Cause I wanna know what that one does. Let's see what this one does. Um, I wanna find one that keeps a record of every time you've done it. So you can look back on it. I like to keep records. That's just my thing. <laughs> so yeah. So right now I am waiting for my TV to do something. Okay guys, I just checked my white foul and my purple foul and I think in the morning I gotta cut some more roots. This one, I just gotta cut this one that's laying down here because it's really bad. So I have this one in the back that's still pretty good, so I won't cut that one as of yet. But this one that's really green in the bottom that's connected to this guy is really bad. So I have to cut all the way up to the base. And either what I'll do is put it in a smaller container or put the water level really high. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just have to see which container fits best. It might go in this container. Who knows? I'll just have to find, I'm hoping to find a smaller cup that fits it right. It's probably still going to have to be staked because the flower is just going to be a little top heavy at this point. So we're just going to wait and we're going to see. I'm going to check the humidifier before I go to bed because I don't want this guy to be out of water when I get up. Because tonight is chilly night and I have to get up like super early because it's going to be in a crock pot most of the day. So I have to cook it, get it set, put it in the crock pot, and let it cook in the crock pot for about six to seven hours. It's a lot of work, but it's delicious when it's done. <laughs> so, kind of check him out if I then we're going to cook. Okay, guys, I'm ma already making dinner until about noon, one o'clock. And Koji has this big ball we bought him. He's so cute when he plays with it. Trying to get his mouth around it, but it's so funny to do. You're so funny. No? How about you eat the rest of your dental stick? Come, on, come eat the rest of your dental stick. Right here. This dental stick. Right here. He might wait till mom gets home to eat. <laughs> yeah, let me go first. Okay, guys, I just finished trimming these two fowls' roots. This one, I just had to trim with one root, so this root is still in water, so I have to have it all the way up here. But in this one, since I had to trim it all the way to the base, I had to move the water level so it would cover these roots. So we'll just have to see. I think it's starting to turn green. <laughs> I think. Yeah, the root is starting to turn green, which is a good sign. So, what I did is I asked my Facebook group friends about this guy right here. don't know how long you can see it, because it's a silver color. I thought it was a, a flower spike, because it's in between the leaves. But some of my group, my Facebook group friends are telling me sometimes roots would do that. Like, okay. As long as there's nothing wrong with the orchid, I'm alright with it. So this is how she's doing, my purple fowl. Here's my other fowl that goes into water culture tonight. And my white fowl, which is very pretty. You can see my white fowl. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's white, but inside it has like a little pinkish coloring right there. So yeah, so now we're going to check my Christmas cactus. And my cactus needs water. So I'm going to go ahead and water it with just regular water. I saved the distilled water for my orchids only. So I don't have to use so much. So I'm going to go get some regular water. I'm going to water all of these guys right here. And then I'm going to go sit down and make some videos. 
because I'm in my chili. My chili is in the crock. So here's my chili in the crock pot. I just put it in there like a few minutes ago. So that's the timer. That's how much time it has to cook for in the crock pot on low. So every few, maybe every hour, I'll come and I'll stir it, just to stir it. My mom said she was going to bring some crackers home, but we'll have to wait and see if she remembers. So yeah, I'm going to water my beds and go make some videos where I rest my back. Okay guys, I just want to update you guys on my fowls. This one, I cut the longer root off and I just put it in this one. And it's already turning green, which is a very good sign. So this was uh, hopefully going to do well. I have it and with this root in too, but this one's turning green, so I have like more faith in that one right now. So that was doing well. And here is my purple fowl that I put in earlier. As you can see, the root is turning green. A very good sign. So maybe it will start growing some more flower spikes or roots or flower buds. I don't know. But I'm really happy about it because it's a nice green color root which is a very good sign which was what happened in the bottom but it wasn't reaching to the base so I went ahead and cut it off and then this guy will go in water tonight really love the way this one's looking no new leaves but I just think it's just working on its root system I think once it has a good root system then it will start growing leaves and growing flower spikes and all of that fun stuff so yeah, there's my updates on my fowl, on my fowls. I love them so much. It's crazy. So I just finished um, recording the supernatural reactions that come on every Friday when the episode airs Thursday. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go record my village life episode that comes out today, and then if I have time, I have to check what time it is by the time that happens. If I have time to go for a walk today. I'm hoping so. Because Koji and I love going out for walks and I get Pokemon steps in it. <laughs> so it's a really good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and record Village Life and then we'll see what I'm going to do. So I was, I've was i been trying for the last 15-20 minutes, I guess, to upload my Village Life to YouTube. I had to split it up in two, so I got the first half up and going. So I went to try to do the second half and it didn't want to upload, so I'm like, screw it. At this point, it's almost five o'clock now. I just had to upload what I can do right now, and I hope I get a views on it. So that's all I can do. So what I'm gonna do right now before I stop, our start uploading everything. Cause I already got Village Life set. I just got to like do all the details and stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get the mail. And I'm going to take out the trash. Okay guys, that's how much longer we have on the chili. Three hours. And we got some crackers. And this is how good the chili looks. Look how good that looks. So about three more hours here. Just putting the meat back on. So we got about three more hours. And then it'll be ready. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. 